This is Duke University. I have a zillion questions. That was so interesting. Um, it, most of my you know, knowledge of, of, uh, of, you know, what in, in Quebec they don't they don't ref use the term homesteading, but but you know I've read Gabrielle Roy when yes. she talks about settlers on the on, in Manitoba and all of the, the early 20th century texts about um, clearing homesteads in in northern Quebec. But what what I'm not getting here is is uh, they are they're raising wheat, mostly What's wheat. Because the, um, did they go, go to livestock later? Um, they were encouraged to ha engage in mixed farming, mm -hmm. livestock and grain, but wheat farming was the cash crop. Fifty percent of the wheat grown in Canada came from Saskatchewan before the Great War. So a hundred years ago, Saskatchewan was the wheat province. In fact, it used to say on our license plate, the wheat province. Mm -hmm. So wheat was a great cash crop because it required little machinery, required no electricity. You put it in mm -hmm. and the strains had reached uh, the condition where that they weren't affected by frost as much. So it was the big cash crop. And, so and they're I growing wheat. W one other question, which is um, what kind of governments, you said the government pretty much gave them the land and set them loose. That's right. But at some point there must have been, because I know in, in uh, Gabrielle Roy's father actually, for those of you who don't know, she's a very famous French-Canadian uh, novelist, but her father actually worked for the um, government settling um, groups, usually Duke of Boers sure. and, and Mennonites. Well, once they got on the land, they're on their own. Okay. And so they fail, somebody else would move in. And, uh, and so if you look at... Homestead records, you can look at all the files for the individual homesteads. They were saved in the 1930s. Some of them are quite thick because somebody will come in the 1890s, not make it, give up the homestead, it's immediately taken out again. And what's interesting, your question is very interesting, the government at the time didn't blame the land, it blamed the homesteader. It's the homesteader that had the failing. And what's quite interesting is that in many cases they occupied land that should have never been broken for wheat or the raising of grain. But because of this idea that it's the land of opportunity, they didn't want to mess with that public or popular image, so they tended to blame the individual. And they did not give much assistance. And here's the irony, is that you're isolated on your individual homestead, but it's the people from Europe who've got family connections who've got it right, because they work cooperatively. And what happens in Saskatchewan come the 1920s? You've got the birth of the cooperative movement because they realize they've got to do it together. The government plan doesn't work.